Hey yo guys, today I'm going to be showing how I extracted all the PS Vita sound effects from the Vita file system from commonresource.lco. So, um, essentially, alright, this guy here asked me how it works, and, um, and he then asked on ties to some of these. Where can you do it to make a tutorial? She's asking for a video tutorial on how to do this. It's actually not that hard, but yeah, essentially all you need to do is go to um on your video, you need to grab the file VSO data external common um or any RCO file really but we're not gonna use that one. So VSO data external common. Alright, I'll notice this file here, common resource.lco. So you wanna copy that file. It can be any file, any LCO file, but he wants to know how to do it with common resource, so we're doing common resource. Alright, and then you can just make a folder called like common resource. Alright, and down inside yeah, move the file. Alright, and now what you want to do is you actually want to download from my Bitbucket page the CXML decompile. Now, for that guy who was wondering how this actually, how I did this, um, essentially this is it. You can look at the code here. Um, it's, yeah. Um, however, you can also um, look at the, if you're wondering what CXML even is, you can look at the Vita development wiki, which um, explains exactly how right. You go to the PlayStation Dev Wiki under PS Vita. Um, you can see here, resource containers, cxml, rco, qof, theme files, ref, cxml. Now, if you want to know how it actually works, this is some great documentation explaining the entire, how the actual structure of cxml things are, such as rco. So, that's part of what I use. There's also in the PSM SDK full source code to a CXML compiler. Um, as I meant, as I added this note here. So, um, yeah. So now, if you read the CXML compiler, fix some issues with PS4 uh, high level UI 2.lco. Nice to know PSM is on. Um, add an experimental VAG decoder. The VAG the sound effects embedded in CXML can should now all be automatically decoded. You can use this feature on its own using an IV argument. CXML decompile for PS4 Vita and PS4 CXML formats. You can decompile PSMA app info, RCOF, RCO, RCSF, RCS. I was originally made for reading PSM app info, but now can be used on RCO too. To output XML files and embedded resources, and attempt to work out what type of file is. About VAG and GIM and VAG uh, file formats, if you have gimconvert.exe inside working directory slash gimcom slash gimconvert.exe, then the game will be decoded to PNG automatically. Um, VAG is automatically converted by the program with my own custom VAG decoder. You all. Um, and then the download link. So essentially, if you have GIM Converter, um, which is a tool that comes from, I think, the PS3 SDK, or maybe the PSP SDK, one of them, um, you can decode the GIM files, which are all textures. I do have that on my computer somewhere. So yeah, but you guys can download the CXML decompiler. Alright, and now I'm going to extract this. 
and I'm going to swell. I already have this on here somewhere, so I'm just going to grab its my the gim converter from here as well. So inside here we've got the CXML decompiler, um, and then .NET zip, and then gimconf. And so now you've got to take that common resource that .co file you had. Okay, and it's really simple. You just take this common resource .co. All right, and then you just drag and drop it onto CXML decompiler, and then you'll get this for a bit. All right, this massive amount of stuff as it goes through everything. Notice they're decoding the games. And then the sound data is in EVAG format. And once it's done, also will decompilation compete. And now inside this folder here, you have common resource. This is essentially the actual XML file. So that's here, it's just an XML in some binary format. So this is what it looks like on the inside, um, for the most part. So, yeah. Now, if you close out of this, you will drag over here files. Alright, and these are the actual files, so sound data. Um, and then the localities, which are in zip compressed, and textures, which are also zip compressed. <coughs> you can go, now, my program will happily detect when it's zip compressed, and then decompress it for you. So these are the decompressed files, and notice there's a bunch of gims in here. And then inside converted is where it converts. So we've got gim to PNG and vag to wav. So inside gim to PNG, we have all the textures that were embedded in the RCO. Um, this only comes up if you have the gim converter pro thing in the same folder. And then what he was after, the sound effects are in vag to wav. These are the sounds. Right, I will just show you. If I play this one. Right. That's scary when you kick on a game, it goes like or oh, whatever. Um you know, this one is when you start the game. And this one's when you pause the game. And uh, I'm not quite sure what this one is. What is this? Alright, yeah, that's when you earn a trophy. Right, yeah, and you've got every single sound effect on the console here. So that's how I extracted those. I wrote a VAG decoder. Um, I actually based off someone else. Someone else already made a VAG decoder, but I didn't put source up for it. Um, so I kind of just... Um, however, there's also another VAG decoder inside... Um, he gave source to someone, and he put it in like, some massive audio library. But I just used his code and um and just I just decompiled it and just used the decompiled code. It had symbols and everything, it was super easy. Um So Yeah. And then inside sound data. But the main thing is I wrote the entire XML thing. Well, dumps the XML out. <laughs>